Hi everyone, Evgeny is here with another technology tutorial for you. If you haven't been to my channel before, um, I produce uh, some tutorials on educational technology, help you become more effective educator. And today we're looking at ways uh, how you can leave audio feedback for your students when you're grading their work on Google Classroom or when you're marking their work on Google Docs. Uh, there's a really nice way to for you to leave an audio comment, not typing your feedback, but actually just record your voice and let students hear it, which makes the learning process more personalized and more straightforward. Uh, what I'm going to do first is demonstrate the app for you. Not the app, it's an extension to uh, Google Chrome. Uh, then I'll break it down for you so you can follow the steps and install it on your uh, Google Chrome, on your computer. And then we will have a look at what it looks like uh, from students and when we leave the comment for them, what do the students need to go through to actually receive this feedback. And if you haven't worked with Google Chrome extensions before, think of them as mini apps that you install on your Google Chrome, which will enhance your experience, which will enhance your um, usability, your usage of the Google Chrome. This is my Google Doc that I'm grading for the student. And as a teacher, what I normally do, if I want to comment on something, I would select it and then click on comment and leave my comment, leave my comment right here. When we have a moat, and that's the name of the extension installed uh, on our Google Chrome, I now have the moat icon here. If I click on this icon, the recording has started. And what I can do now is leave feedback Chandler, you've done a really good job on this assignment. I especially like your choice of words. Well done. I can now click comment and Chandler will receive my audio feedback. Pretty neat, right? You don't have to type. Um, you have 30 seconds depending on the price plan for the free plan. I have, I think, 30 seconds. There's just more than enough for the feedback. I can, I can add multiple um, voice notes. First thing you will need to do is head over to the Google Chrome extension store. All right, if you haven't been there before, uh, this is how we get there. Google Chrome extension. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Google Chrome extension. Click on Chrome Web Store. The extension we're looking for is called Mode. Press enter. That's the icon that we're looking for, Mode notes and feedback. The next thing we're going to do is click on add to Chrome. Forgot to say that this, uh, well, mini app extension will only work with Google Chrome browser. If you are using another browser, uh, this will not work. So you've got to use Google Chrome browser. Um, well, that's, that's about it. So let's, let's click on add to Chrome, click on add extension. Download has started. Nothing will actually be downloaded on your computer. Uh, it's just some technical files that the Google Chrome has to go through. And then once you see the welcome sign, you're pretty much all set. Just to make sure that mode has been installed, navigate to the top right corner and click on this extension icon that looks like a piece of puzzle. As long as you can see mode here, you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do as a teacher now, go inside the assignment and basically leave the comments. We have three students here, Chandler, Joey, and Ross. And the reason that we have three students is I want to demonstrate you what the audio feedback uh, will look like uh, for three different scenarios. For Chandler, we have a student who has installed mode extension as well. So a student went through the same process that we've done. Joey did not install the extension on his browser. So we'll see whether or not he will be able to actually hear uh, the, our audio feedback without having the extension. And finally, we have Ross, who is actually working on the iPad uh, for the standalone Google Classroom app. So he did not install the extension because he's not accessing the Google Classroom through the Google Chrome. So we'll have a look at what it looks like from student's end. But first of all, let's leave the feedback. Let's click on Chandler first, click on comment, We see the mode here, the mode sign. We're going to click to record. You might get a notification here 
to enable Chrome to use your microphone. I don't get it because I've allowed Google Chrome to use the microphone, but you might get this sign. So just make sure you click allow. We're going to click record and the recording has started. Chandler, amazing job. Uh, looking forward to see uh, some research and some academic articles in your next submission. Thank you. Once we've done the recording, I think we can edit this. I haven't done it before. Every time I just click comment. We now see that the comment is there. Now let's try and commentate on another submission from Chandler. Chandler submitted a picture of potato. So I'm going to commentate on the picture. Chandler, this is a really good uh, picture. Well done. Click comment one more time and yeah, we're done for Chandler. Uh, the comment is there. Let's move on and grade Joey. The reason again we're doing three students is because Joey doesn't have the extension. So let me just comment for Joey that he should have installed the extension because that was my requirement for the students. Right. So I'm going to go through the same motion. Click on mode record. Joey, I know that you didn't install mode extension to your Google Chrome. Please make sure that you do install it for the next assignment. Thank you. All right, we're done here. Let's move on to our last student who will be working from his iPad. Ross made a mistake there. So why don't we comment on the mistake? Ross, you might want to go through the spelling and proofread your work before submitting next time. All right, everything is done. You, 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 you can do... <laughs> You can do so much more things with Moat. Uh, there's a, an ability to add transcript, more things, you know, more advanced things, but uh, I didn't find them useful. I just leave the audio comment and that's it. One thing I forgot to do is return the work. So let me actually click on return multiple submissions so students can actually see them. Now we're looking at Chandler's Google Classroom. And as you can see, the assignment has been graded and returned by the teacher. As a student, I can have a look at the work that has been returned by my teacher and see the comments. Chandler has mode extension installed on his Google Classroom. And what you can do is basically play the recordings right from the Google Doc. Chandler, amazing job. If you are a student and you're watching this tutorial, then this is what you need to do to actually get the feedback from your teacher. Uh, install the mode, uh, go through the same steps that I demonstrated at the beginning, uh, not the beginning, in the middle of the work of this tutorial. And uh, yeah, you will be able to play the feedback from your teacher right from the Google Classroom. You can also respond with some emoji, but this is some bells and whistles that you can figure out by yourself. The most important thing is if you have mode installed, uh, on your Google Chrome, you will be able to listen to the teacher's feedback right off the bat. Let's move on and look at the student who does not have mode installed as an extension to his Google Chrome. And this is Joey's work. So let's move into the assignment to see teacher's feedback. As you can see, there is no way for, for him to play back the feedback right from the Google Doc. I actually need to click on this link, open a new tab and listen to the feedback from there. So I need to click and play mode record. Uh, Joey, I know that you did not res the process is well, pretty simple as well. It only involves one more click. And then when a student lands on the mode website, they click on play and play back the feedback. It's not that big of a deal, really, if the student doesn't have mode installed a little bit more, I would say complicated, one more extra step is involved, but still pretty neat. Finally, we have one more student who has been working from the iPad to be able to view teacher's feedback. First thing I need to do is click on my document that I've submitted. The next thing I will need to do is click on this icon here in the top right corner. This will take me to the Google Doc, which I've submitted and where I have some feedback. Uh, so the next thing I will need to do is click on the comment. Again, I will need to click on this link here. Click here, my voice note. Let's open it with Google Chrome. We see a similar interface that we've seen with Joey. So let's try and play it back. Ross, you might want to go through the spelling and proofread your work before submitting next time. Then I can go back to the Google Classroom. Actually, not to the Google Classroom. I'll need to go back to here, Google Docs. And then if there's another comment, I can listen to another comment. As you can see, it's much more simple and straightforward for students to get your feedback if they have um, Moat installed. 
And what I would do if I were you, I would just basically share the same tutorial with them and have them go through the installation part. And after that, they're good. Even when students don't have the um, extension installed, they still can access the voice recordings. And finally, even if they're working from the iPad or an iPhone, basically through the Google Classroom app, or if they're working on a Google Doc using iPad or a mobile device, they will still be able to listen to the audio feedback. You can leave the audio feedback not only in the in the while you're commenting, but also uh, through the entire Google ecosystem, whether it is a private comment or Google Slides. Um, yeah. So, uh, how do I finish? What should I say? Well, hopefully, this will make your life a little bit easier and your feedback to the students a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more personalized for your students. In the next episode, we will have a look at the Immersive Reader, an extension that will assist your English as a second language learners uh, or basically students who are struggling with reading. Thanks for watching the tutorial up to the end if you're still here and stay tuned for more tutorials and I'll see you next time. <music>